guys, welcome back. I'm here with another three looks video and I've done a lot of these before. I've done three looks for three bucks and three looks for five bucks. I'll link them all down below and up here if you wanna go check some of those out. But today is a very special day because today I am doing a three looks for two bucks. Big thanks to my friend Amanda. Hi Amanda, hi Nikki, because she sent me this Beauty Treats eyeshadow palette. Now this is their 12 color matte eyeshadow palette in neutral. I know you can pick this up at five below. If I can find it online, I'll link it in the description box. But you get 12 shades. It has lots of nice warm browns, orangey tones, some cooler browns, and this kind of steel blue color here. Now this is supposed to be a dupe for one of the Viseart palettes and I can't give you any information on that because I don't have any of those. I mean, they're really, really expensive. So I'm just gonna stick with the $2 version. If you wanna see the three looks that I came up with today, just keep watching. I'm starting with a cream shade that has a little bit of peachiness to it and a nice fluffy brush to put that all over my crease and transition area. Then I'm gonna deepen it up with a slightly more peachy tone here and do the same thing. I'm then going to intensify this with the orange shade. I'm gonna try to keep it a little bit lower and on the outer half of the eyelid. This can be nice and messy. For depth, I'm gonna go in with a couple of browns. This is a nice kind of medium toned warm brown. And I'm going to put this on the outer half of the eye, keeping it in that outer V area and blending in. I did switch to a slightly smaller blending brush for this. Then we're gonna do the same thing with one shade darker. This is a nice peanut buttery brown. I'm gonna dip back into the orange just to make sure it stays nice and vibrant and blends around the edges. This cream shade is going to go on the inner part of the eye just to brighten it up a little bit and kind of make sure you have a nice soft blend into the orange. And then I'm using a cooler brown on the lower lash line. I'm gonna place this pretty close to the lashes and then I'll use a fluffier brush to blend it out with that orange shade again. White on the inner corner just to brighten that up and that's about it. I didn't do any liner on top of the lashes, just a little bit on the upper waterline and some mascara. Here is the final look. I love this, it's just nice and warm and perfect for fall. Let's see what's next. The second look is going to be a brown halo eye, so I'm going to start with this kind of neutral to cool toned brown on the bottom, and I'm going to focus this on the inner and outer corners of the eyelid, but I am going to also connect this in the crease. It's kind of like our transition shade. So I'm using a nice fluffy brush so it's soft and diffused. Switching to a slightly smaller blending brush, I'm going to just concentrate that more on the inner and outer corners, and then I'll start going in with darker browns. This one is just a little bit darker, a little more cool toned, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep it on the inner and outer corners of the eye, and then very lightly connect it in the crease, keeping the center of the eyelid blank. This is the same brown, just with a slightly smaller, more precise brush. One shade darker for the brown, again, doing the same things. The darker it gets, the more you want to keep it on the outside. Just a quick blend, and then we're going to put a little bit of the white shade on the brow bone and the inner corner. Now it's time to start brightening up the center of the lid. I'm using the cream shade here, and I think I'm gonna go in with a little bit of the white as well. 
I'm putting these cool browns on the lower lash line, starting with the one that's a little bit deeper and then blending it out with the one that's a little bit lighter. For this look, I decided to tight line and do a winged liner, so we're going to speed up through that process. You guys have seen me do this a bunch. And here's the final look. This could go with any lip color you wanted. Let's see the final look. I want this look to have a nice, crisp, clean edge, so I put a couple pieces of tape down and I'm going in with this first brown in the crease along the edge and on the outer part of the eyelid. I'm then doing the same thing with the slightly darker brown here, just not taking it out quite as far. Next up is this grayish blue. I don't want to take this out as far or up as high. I'm going to keep it more on the outer V of the eyelid. I wanted a little more drama, so I'm going to deepen it up just a bit with the dark brown and a little bit of the black. I'm touching up the blue to make sure it didn't get blended away, and then I'm going to go on the inner part of the eyelid with the cream. White on the inner corner again. If you want to make things easier for yourself, I recommend doing the wings liner before you take the tape off. I just decided to make it difficult this day. I'm going in with the blue and the black on the lower lash line, and that's about it. And here's the final look. So those are the three looks I came up with for this Beauty Treats palette. Thank you so, so much for watching. Don't forget to scroll down to the comments and let me know what your favorite look was. Hop on over to Instagram, Twitter, and Snapchat and follow me at Robin's Cup. Hit that subscribe button so I can see you guys next time and I'll see you soon. Bye. And the last thing we're gonna talk about is a skincare product. This is the Kate Somerville Goat Milk Depuffing Eye Balm. Now I love the goat milk cream. I love Kate Somerville in general.